tale of Newfoundland's most fascinating stories here at the Railway Coastal Museum. We're inside now, and joining me is our tour guide for this evening, Karina Da, and we're going to begin our tour right here at the model of the Placentia Station. Tell me a little bit about that. There's a whole bunch of things to look at here. It's just gorgeous. Thank you, Sharon, and welcome. Um, Sharon, this is a model of the Placentia Station, which was made by uh, Herbert Reed for us. Mm -hmm. And this model pretty well reflects, um, I guess, the elaborate designs of the stations of the day. Uh, this one was built in Jerseyside Placentia, and uh, it opened in 1888. Our museum features uh, 48 history boards, which tell a story of the uh, railway uh, and coastal boat service. Mm -hmm. And um, so it, t it talks about the politics of the day and the hard work that was required to actually build a rail bed. The, uh, and it talks about how the railway and the coastal boat service changed the lives of Newfoundlanders, especially in rural Newfoundland, where it basically eliminated isolation and brought so much opportunity to the people who live in rural Newfoundland. And right now we're in the museum gift shop, mm -hmm. uh, and most of the merchandise that we carry reflects the railway and coastal boat theme. And uh, we offer uh, lots of merchandise with a variety of prices, so um, you don't have to have a large budget to come in here. And uh, we're, I guess, a novelty store, but we have something for everyone. Lovely. Okay. Yes. What's next? What's next? Well, let's go out to the platform. And we're standing now on the original platform of the uh, Newfoundland Railway train wow, station. Wow, And this neat. is the actual exterior of the building. Yeah, which is made of uh, granite, actually, that was quarried at the golf top. So this antique 1927 uh, real speed wagon was donated to us by uh, Richard Hibbs of um, Household Movers and Shippers, and we're the third owner of this truck. Wow. We're very proud to have it here at the That's museum. That's so neat. Yeah. And speaking about uh, cross sections of the train, here's yes. the mail car. Here's the mail car, which, of course, delivered mail to all places uh, around the island. And... Uh, and we have, you know, it's pretty well uh, replicated it the way it used to be. It's amazing. Yeah. And this is a coach car, and the exhibit that we have here is the Chowder Special, because every year, uh, several times a year, the railway operated a special uh, train which they, where they would bring tourists and visitors out around the country, and, uh, and the passengers would just get out and trout for the day and then be picked up and brought oh, back neat. to St. John's. So that was a wonderful feature for them. And the galley, and this is the galley where the food was prepared. Okay, hey, so um, the dining car actually has on display the original silverware and dishes of the uh, Newfoundland Railway. They're all decked out, ready to dine. They're all decked out and ready to dine, and uh, I'm told that dining in the dining car was a real treat. I bet it was a real treat. And this is a mural of a uh, cross section of a coastal boat, and it just gives you an idea of what would have been inside mm -hmm. the rooms at the different levels of the coastal boat. And the wharf is meant to represent the wharf at the time, certainly when the coastal boat um, would have docked. The diving suit was given to us by Fred Chancy, who was a diver who worked at the uh, dockyard. And the helmet alone was 60 pounds, and, and the, that included the breastplate here. And the belt was 84 pounds, and both shoes were about 60 pounds. So oh, my goodness. He was uh, sure to sink <laughs> when he put that on. This is a mural that represents the scene um, of the 1920s, the uh, 1930s, in the um, rail yard here in St. John. And this was painted for us by uh, Jim Miles and Boyd Holloway, and two Newfoundland artists who, uh, who came in. And this is their conception based on um, pictures of the day. So, yes, Beautiful. and we also have, this is our audio-visual um, area, and we a screen actually comes out from there, and we show um, archival footage of um, old railway uh, footage, actually. Okay, and this is a model ship um, that we have of the coastal boat. We have the Caribou and the Kyle, the Glencoe, and the Burgio and Bacalou, and these are all... This room houses our automated uh, model train, which was the model train was actually donated to us by um, Frank Rogers Jr., who is the who is a son of a railway man, and uh, Mr. Rogers' passion is to build model railways, and the landscape was actually done by Henry Dunn. Well, thank so. you for the tour. It's been phenomenal. Oh, you I loved awesome. it. I loved it. A, a tour through the Railway Coastal Museum here in St. John's. It's definitely one of the places you can go.
Well, we took our hockey extremely seriously in those days. Well, we do today. Oh, so this has been one of Mr. Johnson's dreams for a while as well? Yes, he's, he's the dreamer and, uh, yeah. and the guy has all the ideas. He, yeah. he uh, has the ability to see it all in his head before it's put to paper. Yeah. And then he describes it and it turns out the way he sees it. Oh, that's marvelous. And you have a great pictorial uh, arrangement as well. Yes, tells the history from start to finish. Yes. Of the Newfoundland Railway right anyway, and the Coastal Boat Service, of course. Mm -hmm. They're both important to the uh, economy of Newfoundland. And the memories of things that accompanied the Newfoundland Railway, such as the uh, the caribou sinking and so on. Various yes. Yes. various bits of history around all over the place. Yes. Quite a lot of it, as a matter of fact. Sure. And all the pensioners and the old timers have come through. We live it with us every day. Right. We go through here. So it's a, right. it's a great experience just to be here and meet the people who traveled on the railway and who worked and helped build it and make it what it was. It's great. Yeah, but again, it's a terrific thing for tourism. Yes, it certainly is. It's great. Sarah Flaherty. Uh, where are we exactly? We are in the diorama of the train car, which we've set up here in the Railway Coastal Museum. This particular car is a replica of the mail car, which would have delivered mail throughout the island. Um, this car is somewhat distinct from the others because the employees who work in this car uh, were, rail, uh, were Royal Mail Service employees instead of Newfoundland Government Railway employees. They wore the uniform of the mail service, and uh, they ate here in the car, they slept here in the car, and they tended to remain somewhat distinct from the other employees. They were a rather exclusive crowd. And this is the coach car? It is indeed. The coach car was the second class way to travel. Uh, what we've represented here with the two mannequins are a father and son heading off for a weekend of fishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the charter special was a special offered usually around the May 24th weekend to allow people to take advantage of some cheaper rates to get out and enjoy an afternoon at Around the Bay. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Here we have the galley. Uh -huh. And uh, so many of our visitors here talk about the great meals that they enjoyed on the trains over the years. And this is where those meals would have been prepared. Um, what you see here are the stainless steel cupboards which would have existed in the train and so much of the silverware is authentic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the chef, the uniform, is all authentic to right. the era which we're representing. Which naturally leads us to? To dinner in the diner. <laughs> here we've represented a honeymooning couple enjoying a meal uh, with uh, costumes from the 1940s. And uh, with the silverware, the cutlery, the, the plates, everything, uh, were donated to us by people who have gathered them over the years and generously allowed us to use them, so to represent the, uh, the diner as it would have been. Terrific. Mm -hmm. And the break, platforms. Yes, indeed. Here we have the porter, uh, who is a very important person to know if you're traveling by train. The porter was responsible for getting people whatever they wanted, whether that be a telegraph sent out or a pack of cigarettes. The porters were some of the best known people on the railway. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. We have a sleeper car. Uh -huh. uh, the sleepers were actually uh, set up to allow people to sit in the daytime, but at night the porter would come by, set up the beds, the first one would just join together, and he would unlock this section up here and would come down to form the section over here. Yeah. You can see we have blankets. Uh -huh. uh, and all this, again, is true to the era. It hasn't been reproduced for our purposes. And uh, it gives it a very lovely feel. It makes you feel as though you really are traveling. It's a good size, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, Apparently, the bottom bunk was the way to go. The top bunk was a little yes, less steady. Yes, yes. And the smoker. The smoker, which tended to be the social area for men on board. Uh, they would gather here, have a few drinks, uh, a cigarette or two, and swap stories. Uh, there were no women in the smoker car. I asked that question. Uh, uh -huh. The ladies tended to congregate in other areas. They didn't have a smoker car of their own? No, they didn't. No, it was a, a predominantly male domain. Oh. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Well, now they have a close by. Yes, a <laughs> washroom. Room. What we've uh, tried to do here is show a mural of, the, uh, of a boat as uh -huh. it would have existed. Um, the murals that we have here in the museum were done by two local artists, mm -hmm. uh, Boyd Holloway and Jim Miles. And uh, this one, as you can see, shows the interior of a boat, while the one on the other wall shows uh, activities surrounding the railway and that whole area. Right. Uh -huh. And as we come along through here, it's the observation platform. Uh -huh. uh, often people would like to go out here to catch a breath of fresh air and just take in some of the scenery that they, uh, that they were passing through. 
the railway, uh, which was donated to us by Mr. Frank Rogers. And uh, this is really a labor of love for him. Uh, the center of the model represents the St. John's Railway Yard with the roundhouse and uh, the different parts where the locomotive areas of Newfoundland and stages of the forces. Uh, over here in the snowy area, you'll notice the gap tunnels, which was uh, quite a treacherous area. And then there's the rocky.